we have 256 plus something equals 484. So how can we find our missing number? Well, we have a number family triangle because we know that 256 plus something gives us 484. So what do we need to do to find out what number the question mark represents? Well, with number family triangles, if we subtract a bottom number from a top number, we get the other bottom number. So we need to find 484 minus 256. Sometimes this is called using the inverse operation because we're using subtraction to find a missing number addition. So if we start on 484, we need to subtract 200s, 5 tens, and 6 units. Subtracting 200s from the 400s we started with leaves us with 284. Now we can subtract 5 tens from our 8 tens, which gives us 3 tens, so 234. Now we need to subtract our 6 units. So if we go back 4 units, we get to 230, and then subtracting another 2 takes us to 228. So we've subtracted 6 altogether, and we have 228. So 228 is the missing number, which means that 256 plus 228 equals 484. Now we have something minus 205 equals 457. So how can we find our missing number? Well remember, if we have a number family triangle, when we subtract a bottom number from a top number, we get the other bottom number. So we've subtracted 205 from something to get 457. And we know that with number family triangles, we can add the two bottom numbers to get the top number. So again, we can use the inverse operation. We can add to solve a missing number subtraction. So we need to add 457 and 205. If we start on 457, adding 200s takes us to 657. Now we need to add 5 units. So if we add 3, we get to 660. And then we can add 2 more to get to 662. So we've added 5 altogether and our answer is 662. So 662 is the top number in our triangle, which means that 662 minus 205 equals 457.